so I'm gonna start off by using my Makeup Forever primer. The it's the Step One uh, Skin Equalizer, and it's a smoothing one. And I'm just dabbing that all over my skin. I'm so sorry I don't have an intro for you guys today, but I filmed it and it didn't turn out well. So yeah, I'm sorry. Next, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I'm gonna be applying it with my Beauty Blender like always. I'm so sorry I haven't filmed for you guys, but I've just been really busy. Like school ended. And you know now it's the summertime and I've just been spending a lot of time with my family and catching up with them since school had me so busy but I promise you I will be making a lot more videos because I seriously love making them for you guys it's so fun so if you guys have any requests on what you want to see just let me know Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is like always and I'm just gonna be filling them in and brushing them out with a little spoolie on the other side so I'm gonna be making a lot more videos for you guys I'm gonna be doing a how I apply false eyelashes since I know that's highly requested and how I maintain them and like which ones are my favorite so that's gonna be coming up and I'm also going to be doing a video on how I apply my eyeliner since I get a lot of questions on those two so I'll be doing that for you guys now I'm gonna be using my naked skin concealer by Urban Decay it's called the weightless complete coverage concealer sorry and I'm in the shade light warm and I'm just gonna apply that under my eyes on my forehead a little bit on my nose and on my chin and I'm gonna be blending that out with my with my beauty blender so as I was saying, I'm going to be making those videos for you guys and if there's any other videos you guys would like to see, please let me know. Um, I'm open to doing a whole bunch of new videos because I know I've been gone for some uh, quite some time and yeah, I'm back now. And in a week, I'm going to be going on vacation and I'm so, so excited. So I might be gone for that week. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but I was thinking about uh, vlogging during my vacation because I think that would be really fun. I don't know. I've always wanted a vlog. So let me know what you guys think about that. It's going to be a fun vacation. So I think it'd be fun to watch. And next, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever HD um, High Definition Press Powder just to set... um that concealer and the rest of my face I seriously love both the foundation the concealer and um, this set this setting powder it's like the best combination ever the HD foundation has been one of my favorites and I uh, repurchased it again because I didn't have it for a while and I seriously love it so much totally recommend it for you guys Except if you have oily skin, that wouldn't be such a good idea, but if you don't, it's a good foundation. And now I'm going to be using my Shade and Light palette, and I'm with a brush that you could buy with it, and I'm going to be using that middle shade. I'm not sure what the name of it is, but I'll have it down in the description, and I'm going to be applying it over my concealer just to bright, uh, brighten up the under eye a bit more. And this contour palette is seriously thebomb.com. I know it has been uh, raved a lot on YouTube, but it's seriously so worth it. I recommend you guys to check that out too. And next, I'm going to be taking my Painterly Paint Pot by MAC to prime my eyes as always. And I'm just going to be applying it with this dense brush. And today I'm using my Naked palette and first I'm going to be taking the shade Sidecar that you see there and I'm going to be applying it with this brush that came in the Naked 3 palette and I'm just applying that shade all over the eyelid. Uh, as my transition shade, I'm going to be using Naked and I'm applying that all over the crease with this uh, fluffy blending brush from Sonia Kashuk. <music> so 
so um, I keep the eyelids very very simple because I think you want to give more attention to the bottom line and here I'm just gonna be doing my wing liner with my ink lot gel liner and of course like always I'm applying my house of lashes iconics next I'm taking this makeup forever liner and this is a such a beautiful beautiful turquoise color it's seriously so beautiful and I'm so sorry I am out of frame in this section. I'm seriously so mad at myself because I'm totally just out of the picture. But the, it, it's really easy what I'm doing. I'm just applying the line, the eyeliner under my eye and I'm taking this very small uh, brush to blend it out. So you guys can add more liner depending on how you want, how thick you want your bottom line. So I'm just adding some and then blending and adding some more if I need any, if that makes sense. I'm so sorry I'm out of frame. It's like I was actually doubting on uploading this video because of that, and but that won't happen on the next one. But yeah, it's very simple. Just apply the eyeliner under the eye like any other liner and just blend it out with um, a small shadow brush. And this is the how the eyes look. I seriously love this look. I actually had no idea where I was going, but I ended up loving this look. It's perfect for summer. And next, I'm taking my Hula Bronzer by Benefit, and I'm just bra bronzing up my cheeks. I personally, I, I'm not really a big contour fanatic, but I want to get more into it, but I don't know. I feel like I'd never go all out with my contour. But that's just my preference. So I'm just bronzing up. And then I'm adding some to the temples also just to, you know, not be too pale. Have you guys heard of the new um, technique that's out? I, I forgot what it's called, but I think it's when you just highlight on your face and you do no contouring I actually want to do a video on that because like I said I'm not a big like contouring person so I think that would be fun I forgot what the technique is called but I think it's like strobing strobing maybe I'm butchering that I have no idea but the point is that you just highlight and you add no uh, contour bronzer to your face so I think it's pretty cool isn't it I'm going way off topic <laughs> I'm sorry guys And next I'm going to be taking this MAC blush. I forgot the name of it also, but I'll have it in the description bar. I've used it in a previous video though. And I'm applying it with my Real Techniques uh, face powder brush. And next I'm using this MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Powder. What is it called? MAC Mineralized Powder in Soft and Gentle. And this is seriously such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Like, you guys need this in your highlight collection, I guarantee it. You, It doesn't really show up in camera. It's seriously so, so, so beautiful. I feel like a lot of people have been neglecting this um, highlighter because of all the new ones that are coming out. But this one has to be a staple in your collection, I promise. And next, I'm taking this NYX lip liner in natural, and I'm just outlining my lip. This was actually my first time trying out this lip pencil, and I, I've actually wanted it for a long time because I think it's like the perfect your lips but better um, lip liner. And next I'm going to be taking one of my favorite lipsticks of all time and it's MAC Velvet Teddy. And I'm just applying that all over the lips. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry it was kind of out of frame with the whole liner and stuff but I promise you the next one will be a hundred times better. And I have a lot of new videos coming out for you guys, so I hope you guys stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Like this video, please. Any comments, anything you want to say, just let me know in the comments bar. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.